to help you understand that force, I'm actually going to do these questions with you. So which of the blocks are accelerating? Okay, the most important idea here is things accelerate when their forces are unbalanced. Keep in mind that acceleration doesn't necessarily mean speeding up in physics. It can mean slowing down or changing direction. If things have balanced forces, that means that things could either be at rest or they could be moving at a constant velocity. Either way, there's no acceleration. These would probably be good things to put on your note card if you're somebody who struggles with memorization. So if we want to figure out which of these blocks is accelerating, we're going to look for unbalanced forces. Okay, first guy, 25 up, 25 down, canceled. 20 forward, 20 back, canceled. So not A. Um, 25, 25 canceled, 20 and 15, unbalanced. This guy is accelerating. 25 and 25, this is not accelerating because they're balanced. That guy's either at rest or moving at constant velocity. 25 and 25 cancel, that leaves the 20. This is an unbalanced one, so it has to be accelerating. Building off what we said before, block A could be, and you have to choose all that apply, it could be moving at a constant velocity or it could be at rest. It cannot be accelerating because the forces are balanced. It also cannot be slowing down because slowing down in physics is also a word for acceleration. This last question seems straightforward, but it's actually a pretty complicated question. Which of the, assume the blocks all have the same mass. Which one is accelerating the most? Well, that gets a little bit more complicated. Let's look. This guy had all balanced forces, part for A, so his acceleration has to be zero. Okay. Um, same thing with C. Her acceleration has got to be zero because she's balanced. So both of those are out of the running. That leaves us with B and B and D. Okay. Well, remember that F net or the total force is equal to mass times acceleration. So since we have the same mass going on and we're curious about what acceleration is going to be, the one that has the greatest net force is going to be the one that has the biggest acceleration. So let's go look at that. This guy, the up and down forces cancel. We have 20 forward and 15 back. So the net force, which we can also write this way, is going to be equal to 20 minus 15. So our net force is 5 newtons for, and that was for B. For C, our net force, well, 25 up, 25 down cancel. That really just leaves that 20. Uh, so that means that D by far would have the greatest net force and therefore by far would have the greatest acceleration. The next question asks us to find the force of C in this situation. So we have F net is given to us 900 newtons. So the net force, that's another way of writing net force, that little E sign there means summation. Well, we have C pulling up. So force C, whatever it is, minus, and we have 200 pulling down. So we could say 900 is equal to force C minus 200, and we're going to add that to the other side. So we get 1,100 newtons is our force of C. Nice easy one. Another pretty basic one is we have boop, boop, boop. And we got this block, and we know that the net force is going 30 to the right. So when you look about look at this, and you're thinking kind of a tug of war, G is going to have to win because overall you're moving to the right. So we end up with our net force 
is equal to our force, capital G, not gravity, just in this situation, minus we have 20 newtons going the opposite direction. So we had 30 newtons overall is going to be equal to Fg minus 20. So we can add 20. So we're going to have 50 newtons.